this fellow who I've known for a number of years and whose wife I just met two nights ago uh, are good friends. He's extraordinarily talented and he has made it possible. <laughs> no, I, you, you don't translate. <laughs> the point is, seriously, uh, I, I, meeting so many incredibly talented people in such a sh small space of time. I have a friend here, Peter Kalma, whom I met some years ago when, I don't know how I got to see Singing in the Rain, but I, he got me the information that he had done it, and it is written by uh, one of my dearest friends, a Hungarian, Adolf Green. I went to see uh, Singing in the Rain, and uh, I called Adolf and said, well, now I've finally seen it on the stage the way it should be done. This fellow <laughs> knows. Great. And uh, I wish you could see it. I saw the Scharlachsfüsten at the Operetten Theater when I was here the first time and uh, I loved it. I fell in love with all, all the Vokes operetta material. Yes. It's wonderful. Some of them are m magnificent. Some of them are not so good. But there's good music in dozens of them. Absolutely. It's just wonderful. You cannot do, though I tried and, and wish he, they had agreed, I tried to um, uh, encourage the New York City Opera to do Peter Kalmer's version, uh, an operetta. I know their audience would love it, but they're snobbish, and they're snobbish because they don't understand what their audience would like. They would love it. Some of the success of Phantom of the Opera is that it has a musical glamour. My biggest frustration you didn't ask me, but I'm going to say, Go on. <laughs> as the American musical clearly has been so influential or popular yes. in Europe, Middle Europe, England, elsewhere, it's high time that you fed us back what we need to move on with the musical.